The multi-beam echo sounder, IMBIS, is a sonar transmitter used for sounding in hydrographic surveys. Sounding is an activity carried out to obtain an overview of the seabed surface topography. While the hydrographic survey is the process of describing the bottom of the water starting from measurement, processing, to visualization, the multi-beam echo sounder in its measurement process is identical to the single-beam echo sounder, SBES. The difference is that from the number of beams emitted by each instrument, the single-beam echo sounder only emits one beam, BM Nadir. In each beam, in contrast to the multium echo sounder which emits up to 256 beams in each beam, making the multi-beam echo sounder more effective for sounding in large survey areas. Sounding using a multi-beam echo sounder will produce more detailed data because there is no water bottom that is missed from the sweeping beam. With a dense beam density, it will result in modeling the actual water bottom. Motion sensor is a tool used to read and provide corrections to the movement of the ship during measurement. Pitch, roll, yaw. GP's position is a tool used to provide the actual position of the ship. The accuracy of the GIPRC of the GPS position affects the accuracy of the beam point. Heading is a tool used to provide the actual direction of the ship. Heading accuracy affects the accuracy of the beam point. CVs, sound velocity sensor, is a tool used to provide a sound velocity value on the surface of the transducer. ZV. Sound Velocity Profiler is a tool used to provide sound velocity values in each column into the water around the survey area. Tidal Observation Data is data that is used to provide corrections to the survey result depth data to correct the dynamics of changes in sea depth during data acquisition. Beef data and tidal observation data are needed in the post-processing process, so the acquisition of MBs can be carried out without these instruments and data. Hydrographic survey stages using a multi-beam echo sounder. 1. Preparation. The preparatory stage consists of everything related to survey needs, starting from permits, secondary data preparation, site survey, and survey lane planning, equipment preparation, and survey ship preparation. I. Making survey lane plan. Survey lane planning really needs to be considered because it will affect the effectiveness of the survey. The multi-beam echo sounder survey strip is made parallel to the shoreline or following the depth contour because the interval of the param lane is based on the depth of the survey area to avoid overlapping data and to avoid gaps in data. Making survey lanes refers to secondary data in the vicinity of the survey area. Param lane intervals are influenced by several factors. The depth of the survey area, the overlap value used, adjacent housing lanes, swath angle, maximum beam sweep angle, D, tool preparation. The tools to be used in the survey need to be checked first, at least by conducting a dry test for the MB's tool. It will be better to check the tool if you carry out a performance test on board the ship to find out whether the motion sensor that we are using has correctly corrected the survey data. Sea Survey Vessel Preparation The survey vessel to be used is selected whether it is suitable for the survey area the tonnage of the vessel and the space on the vessel must also be considered when installing the MB survey tool. Two, 
performing measurements with multi-beam echo sounder. The measurement implementation stages consist of tool installation stages, patch tests, data acquisition using MBs, and CP data collection. C data acquisition using MB. In carrying out measurements using MBs, it is necessary to pay attention to the swath angle of the tool, whether it is in accordance with the planning of the coverage area of each survey line, because planning only uses depth secondary data for field conditions where the depth of the area does not. Match the plan. The swath angle of the beam may be changed to adjust of the planned survey line coverage area. The frequency selection at each depth, power, pulse length, and sounding mode selection must also be considered at every change in depth. 4. Results The results of MB's data processing can be presented in several forms, in the form of survey point coordinates and depth, DETIM, and depth contours. The coordinates and depth of the survey points can be extracted directly from the observation points in the field, or derived from the DTM if you want to be presented with a certain grid range. 